A call for action from a number of Democrats in the state house as they discuss expelling a member for the first time in more than a century. Five women have accused this man, Democrat Steve Lebsock, of sexual misconduct. I'm Alan Janay. A third party investigation found their 11 claims credible, prompting the call to expel Lebsock. Now he's listening as lawmakers of his own party condemn him today. Our Mackenzie O'Keefe is covering Colorado First at noon. And Mackenzie, this is a long and really very emotional hearing. It really is, Alan, and this hearing is still ongoing, and that's because so many people have stood up and given their opinion on these sexual misconduct allegations. Now, every time a victim spoke or a letter was read by one of those victims, the gallery stood. And this was as lawmakers say, what really happens with this case paves the future of the business that's conducted here within the state capitol. Now, all of this centers around those 11 allegations of sexual misconduct that were brought forth by five different women against Representative Lebsock. In today's hearing, the representative was allowed to respond to comments as many times as he wanted, but only for a total of two and a half hours. After some initial concerns about rushing this vote, many lawmakers stood. They were voicing their opinions after reviewing a lengthy report about these allegations from an outside investigator and after from hearing victims from themselves. Now, a lot of these lawmakers did stand and say that this was so important for people to be a part of and that they uh, believe that this was uh, something that ne people need to really weigh their conscience on. It's not about uh, all the information, but it's about really what happened inside of the walls of here. Now, we did hear some very emotional and very tense conversations and debates today. This is not about hugs. This is not about handshakes, off-color jokes, or an occasional misunderstanding. This is about a systematic use of power to intimidate, harass, and control people. If we are going to hold ourselves at the very highest standards, then our investigations in this body should be held at the very highest standard. I like Steve Lebsock. He's my friend. We fought on bills together on the same side when I felt like I had no one else in this chamber. And he's betrayed the trust of not only myself and the women, but the people of Colorado. Now, a big topic of conversation today as well is, would these sexual misconduct allegations be okay in a separate workplace? Now, people said, a lot of lawmakers said they wouldn't be allowed elsewhere, so why should they be allowed here? Now, CBS4's political specialist, Sean Boyd, is in the chamber. She'll have that final vote and all their reaction coming up tonight on CBS4 as early as 5 o'clock. Reporting live in Denver, Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First. Right now, that vote expected fairly early this afternoon. Mackenzie, thanks very much.